So we all know that one of the most highlighted features of Windows 11 is that it can run Android apps. While that feature is not available at launch, with a recent major update, that feature is finally available. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about it and how you can set it up on the latest update of Windows 11. Alright, so before we get started, you need to make sure that your computer complies to the specifications that Microsoft wants. Now, if you are on Windows 11, now most likely you are already on a supported processor and have at least 8GB of RAM. Because if you don't have that and you force install Windows 11 on an older PC, this feature might not work well. So just take note of that. Now, first of all, before we get the uh, Amazon App Store update, we will have to install this cumulative update for Windows 11, uh, which is the KB5010414 that you're seeing on the screen right now. So I'm going to download and install this update, which will require a restart of the system. Then we'll continue that in a bit. And while the update is installing, make sure you change your language and region settings here because this is only supported in the United States for now. So since we're in Malaysia, so we got to change the country or region setting here from Malaysia over to the United States so that the Microsoft Store will switch to the United States uh, Microsoft Store so that you can install the Amazon App Store. So once you've done that two things and restarted your PC, launch the Microsoft Store and make sure your Microsoft Store app is updated to the latest version. And this is what you're going to see right now. So you're going to realize that these paid apps are in US dollars and not in Malaysia ringgit, which means you have successfully changed the region settings of your PC. Now right over here, you will see some of these featured thumbnails here and one of it is the Amazon App Store Preview uh, app. So let's click on See Details or you can just head onto the search bar and search for Amazon App Store there, which you can do it as well. So let's just uh, go to the Amazon App Store uh, page right over here. So while it's loading, there will be an install button, which you're going to hit that button to install both the Amazon app and another component that enables Android apps virtualization on your computer, right? So we're just going to follow the steps here. So one of the things that you need to do if you're installing this on a desktop PC is that you will need to enable virtualization in your motherboard's BIOS setting. So for AMD systems, it's going to be called SVM. Uh, it's for Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, AMD SVM. While for Intel machines, it's going to be VT-D. You, you usually find that settings in the advanced section of your BIOS settings. Um, if not, you can just simply refer to your motherboard manual for doing just that. So what's going to happen after you restart your computer is that you're going to find two new things on your Windows 11 PC. Now, first of all, being the Amazon App Store, which is what you can see on the right here. And on the left side, you have this Windows subsystem for Android settings page. Now, this is essentially the settings of your virtual machine, your Android virtual machine. And you get a couple of things right inside here, such as accessing the file system of your Android uh, virtual machine. It basically uses the storage of C drive. Um, I don't think you can change that actually. And you have some other settings such as uh, system resources on configuring how you want the virtual machine to use up your system resources. Choose the GPU that you want to use it uh, for graphics acceleration. Now, don't go uh, hoping that an RTX 3080 will launch or Android apps smooth and whatever because that is not going to be the case because since this is virtualization, all right? So I have developer mode turned on right over here because we are going to do uh, a side load APK in a bit, which I'm going to show you using ADB. And let's take a look at the Amazon App Store preview now. So Microsoft says that there is about a thousand apps and games that is available at launch, which is pretty limited by all means. And these are some of the apps that you can download on your Windows PC. So it's pretty simple. All you need to do is to click that blue get button and it will be installed onto your Windows PC in no time. So after you install an app, Okay, as you can see, the performance is kind of uh, slow in a bit because it's actually running on uh, virtualization mode. So um, what, after you install an app, uh, we already installed WSJ on our Windows PC here, and it will appear on the recommended section over here. So let's just launch the WSJ app, and it launches pretty well. So I think this is actually pretty useful for computers with touch screen. Now imagine if you have a Windows PC with a touch screen and you can't really use a lot of apps because Let's face it, most of the apps on the Microsoft Store sucks and they don't really work well with touch screens. So you might be better off installing an Android app on your, on your Windows PC if you actually want to use it, which I think is a really convenient feature for those who actually can take advantage of it. And now, 
let me show you guys on how you can install an APK onto Windows 11. Now, of course, first of all, you will need to download the Android SDK platform tools from Google's website. And if you don't have that, I've actually linked it down below in the description so that you can just go download. And once you've downloaded it, this is going to be the zip file, which is the platform tools R32-Windows. Extract the folder and I would recommend that you rename it into a simpler name and copy and paste it into your C drive Which I've renamed it in as Android right over here, All right? Because we are going to use uh, the command prompt to sideload APK and meanwhile I've already downloaded the APK pure APK which is a third-party app store because let's face it the Amazon app store preview sucks So we're going to install a third-party app store onto our Windows 11 PC right here next Let's just run the command prompt. So before you do anything, make sure you click right click on the command prompt app and run as administrator. All right, and once you're in command prompt, execute the change directory command and we are going to go over to the platform tools directory that we have just set earlier. So in my case, it is going to be CD Android CD platform tools. And we are going to first connect to the virtual machine using the ADB connect command. So let's type ADB connect and let's type the IP address of the virtual machine that is shown on the left side here. And we're going to tap enter. So it's going to start up ADB. And yup, it started up successfully. Next, we can finally execute the ADB install command. All right, so let's type ADB install APK pure. And just in case you don't want to type the full name, just tap, tap on tap on your keyboard. And let's tap on enter. Right, it's performing stream install and it's done. It's even faster than a smartphone, right? And once you do that, the AP Cure app is now on your recommended section on your start menu and let's launch it, right? So there you go. It works very, very well, just like how it would on a typical Android device. Now there's a whole lot of apps and way more apps than the Amazon App Store right over here. And you can simply just install them as usual as you would do on an Android device. So there you have it. This is how simple and straightforward it is to get Android apps running on Windows 11. It only takes a few steps and I'm sure you can do it similar to me as well. Now as you can see right over here, I have three Android apps running in the background right now. And this is kind of impossible with any Android smartphones or you know, pretty much other Android tablets except for Samsung's uh, DeX. Uh, feature on Samsung tablets. As you can see, I'm running three apps concurrently right now and I can say that the performance is pretty good, except for gaming. Now, if you're intending to use it for gaming, it will not work well because this is virtualization technology. The GPU performance will therefore be limited and not optimized to every single game. So if you really want to game Android apps on your computer, uh, you can download an app called BlueStacks, which is technically another Android virtual machine that is more optimized for games and has proper graphics acceleration. All right, so that's pretty much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on the channel. Be sure to subscribe to us and follow us on social media and I will see you guys in the next one.